and welcome back to my Mass Effect 3 first ever playthrough, part 33, the final episode. We have made it. This is our last Mass Effect episode. This is my last of the Mass Effect series. I, this is such an emotional video. It's basically just me crying the entire time and having all of the feelings and the emotions. I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has come on this journey with me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, I've met so many new friends through this playthrough, through the Mass Effect series, and I had an absolute blast. I love Mass Effect. Um, it hurt me so bad. I don't think I will be picking up the series again anytime soon, but I will eventually pick it up again to replay through every single romance. I do want to see how all of the romances turn out. Um, but right now I am still like deeply wounded from the game. It really, really, really hurt me. But I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you so much, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. Um, if you found me through this Mass Effect playthrough, I hope that you enjoy the other content that I make. My only disclaimer on this video is that, you know, again, this is my first playthrough of the Mass Effect series. It's my first playthrough and I went in completely blind. Um, I did not want to know anything. I did not want strategy help. I didn't want any of that stuff. So the ending that I picked, it probably was not the ending that you picked and that is okay. <laughs> Everybody has different play styles. Everybody has a different way of playing through the games. Everybody has different things that they consider. And just because I picked a different ending than you did, it doesn't really, it doesn't, it's not any deeper than that. We all just have different choices. And I would really, really, really like to uh, go watch all of the other endings that are possible as well. Um, I know a little bit about them and I definitely want to see more of it. So I'll definitely be going on YouTube and watching the various endings to it. Just a reminder that I didn't know what I was going into. And I honestly feel pretty good about my ending choice. I, it was absolutely devastating and depressing, but I feel pretty good about it anyways. So I don't want to make this intro super, super, super lengthy, but I just want to say, I really appreciate the support. I appreciate everybody's comments and your inputs and all of that stuff. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support for this series. It has been so fun to play through the entire Mass Effect series. My favorite, I think I can confidently say my favorite out of the series is two. I think that was just like the most fun for me. I loved all the character, the new characters in it. I loved the extra stuff they added. Um, and honestly, Mass Effect 3 was good, but it just hurt me so bad. <laughs> so I feel like I can't say that it's my favorite. So I guess that's it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the final episode. Um, if you don't already know, I live stream over on www.twitch.tv forward slash Katie Cole 19 on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and on Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you are subscribed, hit the notification bell for more content from me, more first playthroughs, more blind playthroughs, all of that good stuff. That is what we do over here. We do first time playthroughs of JRPGs and RPGs. Um, and if you'd like to connect with more members of the community we do have a discord link is in the description below so i hope you have an amazing day thank you for being on this journey with me and please let me know your thoughts in the comments below bye i got very nervous that it was something other than a keeper Shepard. i mean she was rebuilt from the dead Shepard. So I have to assume they gave her a benefit. Anderson, you up here too? I followed you up, but we didn't come out the same place. No, at least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? <clears throat> I feel like death, but I'm moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. We, why aren't we talking about the keeper in the middle? Oh, 
man. But where the hell are we? Yeah. Doesn't look like any part of the citadel I've been to. Oh. Okay, sorry. I didn't realize this was like a. One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. House of Leaves! It all comes back to House of Leaves. literally all comes back to fucking House of Leaves. L-E-A-V-E-S. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. It's um it's a book by the author's last name is Daniel Lewski. Um just found that chasm you were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on it. Oh goody. Oh goody, oh goody, oh goody. My heart hurts so much. Damn it. Is this the fing elusive? Not the elusive man! <laughs> Not the elusive man! I swear to Christ! I swear to God! What did I just tell you? I told you like 30 minutes ago. I was like, you know, just so we all know, the elusive man had, does not have a confirmed kill. Oh, that's Anderson. <laughs> oh, it's Anderson! Okay, never mind. Never mind, it's not the elusive man, it's Anderson. Anderson. Maybe maybe not. Shepard. No. I can't. No. I underestimated you, Shepard. Oh <gasps> What happened? I warned you. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers. He's turning into a husk. You, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we. This might is live. fantastic character design. Just as a side note. But look at what humanity. Has I really achieved. love the design. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past ten thousand years combined. There's a renegade the option here. I'm taking it. The same for us again. A thousand. But. <sighs> Only if we can harness their ability to control. No. Bullshit. We destroy them. Or they destroy us. Oh, just kidding. Maybe I don't take the renegade option. And waste this opportunity? Never. Maybe you're just so hungry for power that it's clouded your vision. No. No. It's not that simple. Isn't it? You're willing to give up anything for control. Yes. If not me, then who? Are you going to control the Reapers? There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control. Bruh, and you are like literally a husk right now. You are turning into one. Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. <gasps> I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. 
But if you can't control them... But I can! Are you willing to bet humanity I don't, existence I don't think it? so, bro. I know it will work. I don't you think it will. Can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself. You're indoctrinated. Yeah! No! Big time! No. The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You sacrifice too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect you, man. Nope, not buying it the for a minute. Can control them. Nope. I know it can. I just... Nope. It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... I can't do that, Commander. Of course not. Why am I not surprised? You can't. They own you now. You. You'd undo everything I've accomplished. <gasps> I won't let that happen. Wow. Not me not being able to choose either of these options. You're not yourself. Now, you're the one who failed. Okay, I'm so glad that that was, that that hit who I thought it would. <gasps> Wait, no. No. Wait, no, 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 no. I thought that that was supposed to just kill the elusive man. There. Earth. I wish you could see it like I do. It's so. Did I just make the biggest mistake of the game? Oh, I need to redo this. I thought this would be like Kai Lang. I thought, I thought I was supposed to take it. This is it, everyone. The alarm is opening. Shh. Oh, not the Hitachi wand. Not the Hitachi wand. Oh my god, I'm so, oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. I feel like I should have known that one. I should I should have looked that one up before. I just assumed I assumed that it was like the same thing as the um as the as the other one. Wait, is he alive? <gasps> oh, thank God. Please tell me he's alive. 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 Please tell me. Commander. You're not actually dying. We did it. Are you like yeah. actually dying though? We did. It's uh, quite a view. Oh my God, are you gonna die together? Is this how it goes? <laughs> Best seats in the house. Oh no. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, child. You did good. All this game does is make me I'm cry. I'm proud of you. All this does is make me cry. Thank you, sir. Okay, so he does die. Shepard, Commander. I, uh, what do you need me to do? 
Nothing's happening. The crucible's not firing. Jesus, not at not at a time like this. Gotta be something on your end. I'm kind of a little I'm kind of in the middle of something. Commander Shepard. I'm like not really functioning. I don't see. I'm not sure how to. Look, I just gotta say, they did rebuild her once. Maybe they could do it again. Maybe Miranda could do it again. Miranda is still alive. this the most depressing game I have ever played? Honestly, potentially. Potentially. It has potential. But she's still alive. Oh my god, not this kid again. Not the kid from the PTSD nightmares. Wake up. The Citadel. It's my home. Hello? Alien child? Hello? I am the catalyst. Final Fantasy X vibes. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Huh? Huh? The solution to what? This is given real Final Fantasy X faith vibes. Chaos. This is really... What? What? The created will always rebel against their creators. I am so confused.com. Stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No, we harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst, but... What are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI. In as much as you are just an animal. <laughs> I am Sheesh. Collective intelligence what a burn. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. The Protheans? I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict. So a new solution was required. The Reapers. Precisely. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expected. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. I'm so when confused. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. 
no, 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 no. I, I know that I played Leviathan DLC and I remember doing that. I'm confused about everything that is happening. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to need to read the Wikipedia after this because this is so confusing to me. <laughs> what do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. Okay, we that's honestly a valid answer. ...for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. This is giving me real Final Fantasy the IX, final, 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 final boss vibes. Of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before, but how do the Reapers This solve? is my big question too, yeah. How are the Reapers actually solving anything? ...to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The okay. result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. I don't think it's inevitable, though, because we saw... ...all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. Well, that's what this is. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new Reaper. Okay, okay, I understand that. Cleansing fire. We restore balance. Zero idea how that restores balance, but okay. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. But you're taking away our future. Without future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You have hope, more than you think. The fact that you're standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. What's the new Why solution, Bestie? Why help me? You have altered the variables. She is Commander Shepard. What do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. Like who? The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Not Even them making me make this choice. Synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses but no more than what has already been lost. Not them making me make the worst choice ever.
But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. What's the other way? Instead, use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. No, not like what the elusive man was saying. So the elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Ooh. Because we already controlled him. Okay, so we were right about that one. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. The Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. Yeah, but like, I don't... There is another solution. Okay, what's the other one? Is that better? There has to be something better. Synthesis. What's that? And that is... Add your energy to the Crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework, a new DNA. Explain how my energy- This seems at least somewhat more promising. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what exactly? The energy of the crucible released in this way will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Okay, okay. Do it sooner. We have tried a similar solution in the past when but it has always failed jesus why because the organics were not ready it is not something that can be forced you are ready and you may choose it i, I don't know why not synthetics are already part of you okay you this kid is making a point and there will be peace the cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. I mean, this certainly seems like a better Synthesis solution. The final evolution of all life. But I still, th I, if I'm understanding it correctly, I still think she dies. But you have to choose. Which I really, I really, you know, dislike, but also I will say that I will really commend this series if they actually commit to doing it. Is there an option that lets her live? Is that the middle? Is the middle option Shepard lives or does Shepard still die? You can tell me, mods. I think I want the synth- like the synthesis option seems to be the- seems to be the best solution. It's debatable? Okay, well, that's not great. If I shoot the kid, does she live? You know what? You know what? We gotta just commit. We gotta just commit. We're gonna... That's a guess on my part. We just gotta commit. This is, without a doubt, the most depressing game I've ever played. I think it has to be. Life is Strange is happier than this.
they're really gonna do this to me. They're they're really they're really gonna They're really gonna do this to me. I feel like I do not have any more tears left in me after all of the crying that I have all done. Fleets, the crucible is armed. Disengage and head to the rendezvous point. I repeat, disengage and get the hell out of here. Jeff, we need to go. <laughs> he really tried. <laughs> that they gave you all three options and all three of which she dies. That is so evil. I will say that I really admire people that can kill off their main characters and commit to it, so I do, I do appreciate that, but people she thought of including Garrus and the other one's dead. Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you, I appreciate it. That was really kind. Just kind of going through it. after this, I am going to be inconsolable. I kind of wish I took the shoot the kid option now. Oh, I am so sad. I am gonna be so depressed <laughs> for the rest of the night. I am gonna be so depressed. I am. If you are not already in the Discord, you can command Discord. Please send me the absolute fluffiest, nicest, fairest femme chef fits in our outfits. I am gonna need it. I am gonna need something nice read to make up for how sad I am vegetation we love to see it we love flourishing vegetation I didn't know that there was a fourth option either Oceanic just asked if I wanted to know it and so I said yes because I did oh if, like, Jacob gets out of this, I am gonna be... Oh! Joker, thank God! Oh 
my god, hello? Can the Normandy crew, like, create a little island together? I would honestly be really okay with that. Oh my god, Jeff and Edie. Look at them. Look at them starting a new little life. Go procreate. Go have some Edie Joker babies. I'd be fine with that. What does a human AI baby look like? Oh, that is so tender. That is so tender. Oh my god, they are so cute. God. Oh my god. Have ending DLC? I okay. Am alive. Edie! Oh, that's right, All because okay. Synthetic and organic have been changed. The war is over, and the Reapers are helping to rebuild. Where once they threatened us with extinction, they now bring us the collective knowledge of the cultures that came before. As a galaxy, we can now live the lives we have wished for. Look at Miranda, thriving. She survived. Okay, Jacob lived. Points for Jacob. Jack lived. Yes, let's go. Liara, Liara, ah, wait, Samara. Wait, that's Samara and is that Samara's daughter? A new and wonderful future where organics and synthetics can coexist. Is that the Corian without the helmet because they are literally just humanoid and I'm pissed. <gasps> Rex! And with unlimited access to knowledge. Oh my God, okay, Rex lived. Oh my God, look at them welcoming a new baby. Morden. Is that Grunt? To recover the greatness that was lost. Where's that grunt? I think that's grunt. I think his his suit is different. And Who's my favorite character it. from Final Fantasy IX? Um, Dagger. We will reclaim our worlds and the stars as the line between synthetic and organic disappears. <laughs> we may transcend mortality itself. To reach a level of existence I cannot even imagine. And we will remember that this Legion. chance for a new life did not come without cost. Oh. Okay, David Anderson, Thane Krios. Where's Shepard's name? This is Garrett. This is Garrus looking at this fucking wall. the sacrifices of those who made it <laughs> And you will remember Shepard. <laughs> because of her. I am alive. And I am not alone. <laughs> 
you know what's gonna really grind my gears about this? <laughs> I'm just saying, Tally and Garrus better not get together, <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it out of your boat only. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> I have not cried this hard. Since I finished <laughs> Crash Landing on You on Netflix, which is really, <laughs> which is really sad. As Marvel end credits, you know what? I'm going to say it. I hate that Marvel makes us all watch till the end of the credits. They have us strange so good and I hate to see it. <laughs> it feels like my heart has been ripped out of my chest. <laughs> <laughs> this is so sad. That hurt so much. <laughs> that hurt so bad. Well, that hurt so bad. That hurt so bad. You're so welcome. It was incredible. I do not know if I can replay this anytime soon. <laughs> I really want to replay and do all of the romances, but like... That hurts so bad. I don't know if I have it in me I mean, to redo it again. God, look at Yungi. If y'all have fluffy Fem Shep Garrus thick that is like fix it thick and that is fluffy and nice and like heartwarming, please put it in the Mass Effect channel. We have a Mass Effect channel. Please go ahead and drop it in there. Oh my God. Thank you all so much for being with me on this Mass Effect journey. I really appreciate it. I am really glad that Joker, Joker and Edie have a happy ending. I genuinely have not cried this. I have not cried this hard since I finished Crash Landing on You. A hundred percent. I remember finishing Crash Landing on You, which if you're into K-dramas and have not already watched Crash Landing on You, please do. It is phenomenal. Um, but the ending of that, like, like I like it was like the heaving like the heaving again and just like the feeling like my like heart got ripped out of my chest I I felt I felt that with that show thanks to all our families for their patience and support thanks to the Bioware thanks to the Bioware employee families we love it to the stars one day my sweet what will be there anything you can imagine our galaxy has billions of stars. Is this not Each Martin of those Sheen? Stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Oh my god, I wish it was snowing right now. I love the snow. Tell it looks so pretty when it snows. It's so quiet. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. Oh. That's cute. That's cute. I don't think it's Sheen. Okay. Just kind of sounded like him for whatever reason. Congratulations on bringing an end to the Reaper threat. Commander Shepard has become a legend, and from here you can continue to build that legend. It has been a long journey for Shepard and for the team here at Bioware, and like Shepard, we couldn't have done it alone. The Mass Effect trilogy began as the vision of a small team, but over the years it has grown. That growth has been fueled and shaped by the feedback and support of our player community. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we look forward to sharing further adventures with you in the Mass Effect universe, the Mass Effect team. Oh my goodness. We have finally come to the end of the Mass Effect trilogy after all of this time. Thank you so, 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 so much for being on this journey with me, for coming in, no matter if you came in today or if you came in, if you've been here since Mass Effect 1. I really, really, really appreciate it. I absolutely loved it. I loved the series. I thought it was fantastic. I think I can safely say out of all of the Mass Effect games, I think I can safely say that two was my favorite. Two is absolutely my favorite, um, but they were all really, really good. They were all fantastic.